A local business owner's push to have a crematorium built behind his funeral home has hit a snag. Nearby businesses say there's just not enough space. News Channel 6's Ashley Jones has more. Kevin McNeil wants to build his crematory here near the intersection of Martinez Boulevard and Shaw Street. Right now, he's having to drive nearly 20 miles to do cremations, and he says that's costing him money. And it just makes it easier to have do everything on one site. Right now, McNeil and his employees travel to Langley, South Carolina to handle their cremations. And he says those prices add up. At one point, he was able to do cremations here in Augusta. Well, the building burnt down, so we had to move. McNeil is talking about Poteet Funeral Home. It was located off of Peach Orchard Road. It burned down last year, and so far, there aren't any plans to rebuild. McNeil made a request to have the crematory built behind his funeral home, but other business owners don't think that's an appropriate spot. We're not object to a crematory being built, per se. Mm -hmm. The issue that we have is where they want to build the crematory. Chadwick McCrickard is the owner of Pesh Respiratory. He says where McNeil wants to build the crematory would cause issues for his business. They were asking for a variance, which would push it all the way to the corner of their land and block the view of our building. McCricker says he moved his business once before to make it more accessible for customers, but now he says he would be running into those same issues. The reason we moved from Bel Air Road, where we had been for 21 years, was because we were looking for a property that was easier and safer to find and get in and out of. Cooper Clyatt, owner of Augusta Telephone, has those same concerns. Uh, we have like 90 to 100 cars on this street that loops off of Bardis Boulevard, Shaw Street, and he already has a serious parking problem. But there's also a fear of the smoke and odor the crematory could put into the air. Yeah, I'm not an expert on crematories. I've read a little bit, and it does say it burns, it smells like burnt leather, you know, and that kind of stuff, and there's some problems there. Now, McNeil says he plans to resubmit his request for his crematory within the next year. And Martinez, Ashley Jones, WJBF, News Channel 6. Coming up, as students are getting ready for summer, Augusta University is already prepping for the upcoming school year. Mm -hmm.